Ministry of Health of Ukraine. Croc 2. Medicine. Year 2019. Number 119. A 65-year-old man complains of dyspnea, severe cough with expectoration of small amounts of blood-streaked sputum, weight loss, body temperature 37.2 degrees C, loss of appetite, and weakness. He has been suffering from this condition for years. The patient's condition deteriorated one year ago. Dyspnea developed three weeks ago. The patient is a lifelong smoker. He is a carpenter by occupation. Objectively he is of normal body type but emaciated. Right side of the chest is retracted. Excursions are limited. Accessory muscles take part in the respiration. Respiratory rate is 22 per minute. Percussion detects dull sound over the upper segment. Chest X-ray shows shrunken right upper lobe. With homogeneous shadow connected to the root of the lung. The root is deformed. Mediastinal organs are displaced to the right. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. Pulmonary tuberculosis. B. Obstructive atelectasis. C. Complete right-sided pneumothorax. D. Pulmonary sarcoidosis. E. Fibrosing alveolitis. Atelectasis is the collapse of one or more parts of the lung. It specifically affects the alveoli. It can happen in a small area or the whole lung. If a person does not have enough air coming in to inflate the alveoli or if outside pressure is pushing on them, they can collapse. Symptoms of atelectasis. Difficulty breathing, tachypnea, wheezing, cough. Types of atelectasis, compressive, fluid, air, blood, or a tumor presses on alveoli from the outside. Resorptive, obstructive, no new air can move into the alveoli, e.g. there is a blockage, contraction, due to a result of lung scarring. Resorptive atelectasis happens when the oxygen and carbon dioxide in the alveoli move into the bloodstream and no new air moves in, that causes the alveoli to collapse. Causes of resorptive atelectasis. General anesthesia. It appears in many cases. The use of high oxygen concentration together with anesthetics can cause loss of muscle tone and fall in functional residual capacity. It can persist for several days in the postoperative period. Blockage keeping the air from coming into the alveoli, mucus, a tumor, or an object that a person accidentally inhaled. Risk factors to develop atelectasis, older age, smoking, any condition that makes it difficult to swallow, shallow breathing, weak respiratory muscles due to muscular dystrophy, spinal cord. Injury, or another neuromuscular condition, confinement to bed with infrequent changes of position, lung disease, e.g. asthma, COPD, bronchiectasis, cystic fibrosis, recent abdominal or chest surgery, recent general anesthesia. The answer is B. Obstructive atelectasis.